I worked with Whitney um, with her Children's Foundation where she gave toys to uh, thousands of homeless kids every year. And I was, you know, de delighted to just be a part of that transition. So yes, we worked together and we were label mates for eight years. Well, uh, I, when I first moved to Atlanta, we hooked up with the Youth Connection. My manager managed to put that together. And I started giving scholarships to high school students that I thought were deserving. Um, uh, just being a part of the community, representing so many other foundations like the Diabetes, Eli Lilly and Company and I did three years of um, just going out making people aware of health issues and how they should get checked. And just being there for the homeless this past winter, I went and raided all of the uh, thrift shops and bought as many blankets and coats that I could to take out on the streets of Atlanta because there were just so many homeless people. And um, I enjoyed that so much. Who is my favorite gospel singer? <laughs> well, you know what, that's, that's a great question, but it's an unfair question because I go so far back. And, um, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it safe and say Mahalia Jackson. <laughs> well, let me just tell you, just so you know, and all of you are aware, um, Donna Lawrence did a song called Happy Being Me. And that was actually my inspirational song. I wrote it uh, coming through a very trying time. God put that on my heart and I did it in three or four months that my album dropped, Don Lawrence redid it, which was affirmation that it was from God. So I've already entered into the gospel world. Just a lot of people didn't know that. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually working on a television project. I can't let the secret out of the bag. Uh, but there is definitely more feature film work in my career. I very uh, careful on the, the roles that I picked to play. I've had a lot of offers that just were not befitting to my spirit. So I'm kind of careful. I want to get in there, but I want to get in there right. Thank you. Who am I wearing? Girl, I bought this here about five or six years ago. And I can get in it now, so I'm wearing me, okay? <laughs> That's what you call stepping out on faith. <laughs> well, let me just tell you this. First off, music, if you guys know anything about Jesus, music is the highest form of praise. So I don't personally take it uh, that it means you cannot do secular music because you guys love my music. I think you just need to be careful how you gauge your secular music. So, you know, if you start out on a platform that leads you to this place, then it's, it's ordained by God. Like my song, Happy Being Me, nobody knew I did it, but God had already had it worked out where it would seep over into that world. So my advice would be to do pure, good music that is inspired by God. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm glad you asked that because my music actually ministers, ministers to the spirit, the soul, and the situation. So at this point in my life, I think if you go through my discography, you will find something that actually puts a Band-Aid on that broken heart. So if, if you want to know if I'm going to continue to do what I do, all my music is inspired by situations that are intended to address it and make, uh, put a band-aid on it, try to make you uh, strong enough to get through it. Now, if I would just come out with a, uh, you want me to come out with a compilation record that's just for broken hearts? I don't know whether I can do that, just you have to wait <laughs> till my heart is broken down, girl. You know what I mean? Okay, then you want me to do an inspirational album. That might can work. But we're gonna have to talk about how we gonna, you know, network that, okay? But I, I promise you that if you listen, and you really listen, you can, you know, you can research YouTube at this point. Uh, there's a song called Life Goes On that I did, and it was purely inspirational from that kind of setting. And I promise you, if you go on YouTube and listen to it, you'll see that I'm already there. <laughs>